easier for me right now. All right, so we are in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, which is uh, southwestern Pennsylvania, kind of, I believe, about maybe an hour, hour east of uh, HDR's stomping grounds. Not 100% sure of where his stomping grounds are, but because Got to turn left here now so because I want to actually because I want to get to my camp and set up and everything uh, I was what I was planning to do was to try and meet up with him on the way back Yes, yeah, so I was planning to meet up with him on the way back on Saturday. I'd give him a call and, and see what he's doing, where he might be. And if he doesn't have any plans, then yeah, it'll be cool, man. You know, meet up and maybe get a coffee or something. Won't be able to stay long because whew, I still have like four and a half, five hours to go just to get to my house just to get in the region of being home so yeah I'll still have a while to go like so we're just enjoying a little ride here it is gonna it is gonna take me to the highway which is just the quickest right now although don't get me wrong yeah you could take some back roads but Again, I want to set up and I actually need to pick up some meat. So I might need to stop by a meat shop. But I need to drop some stuff off first because I've got way too much stuff. <laughs> I've got way too much stuff on my bike. And the crazy part, it's all stuff that I need. So. You know, it's not even like I'd be like, oh, well, you know, I don't need that or I don't need this. So, I uh, thought that maybe, I thought that maybe, um, I would be able to bring my laptop, but I just had no room. Unless I were to bring my book bag and... I just have no inkling to keep a book bag on my back at all. None whatsoever. Oof. I just did, uh, shoot, actually I gotta reset this. I did 50 miles. I did 50 miles and I was feeling a little tired. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I could have kept going, but I was like, you know what? My, my highway peg had loosened up, so I looked in the in my toolkit to see if I had an Allen key that I could tighten that. Luckily, luckily I did. So I tightened that up and just how happened, what was there? Bodine 52's sheets. So I stopped at the sheets and I was like, I fixed that. And then just navigate this. I gotta make a left here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, good. So, uh, so I tightened that up and then I was like, well, I stopped here, I'm at a gas station, I was like, you know what, I might as well use the bathroom, uh, dump out the coffee that I brewed from home, and just stop and get a small Sheets coffee and put it in my uh, brewer, my little brewer cup, which actually is very good at keeping coffee hot. And I showed you that in a past Americade video when I make the 
coffee with it. You put the grinds in the bottom, put whatever, your creamer and whatever and all of that stuff. And push it down, it'll brew it, close it all up and it keeps the coffee nice and hot. Uh, yeah, so I just refilled that up and uh, then after that, I, I, you know, I was feeling a lot better, man. I was feeling refreshed. I was like, all right, cool, you know, let's go. And you figure, you know, it's like one o'clock. I've been trying to keep my stops to relatively uh, short, to be short. I have 151 miles left to go. And we are gassed up. And I figured we would shoot a vlog. And I also had to take off that rain jacket because, dude, I was burning up. And uh, coming to think about it, I wanted to ask you guys, what's the... What do you guys think is the prettiest state you've ridden through? Like of all the states that you've you've uh, ridden through, what do you feel is the prettiest state? Because you know, I was I was riding through like when we first when I first got into the Greenberg area, and. Uh, I'm looking around and I'm like, wow, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty, like, you know, it's really, it's really nice through here. And, uh, that just got me thinking. I was like, man, I wonder what people feel are like the, one of the most prettiest states that they've ridden through. So leave that in the comments below. Let me know what you think. You know, I think for me, I want to say it was, uh, it's, it's Kentucky, man so far because remember i haven't been through a lot of states mostly is on the west coast uh, and for me it's kentucky man i tell you kentucky is just really i was just blown away by kentucky the back roads i mean you name it it was just really beautiful really pretty really enjoyed riding through kentucky was, that was nice i was actually surprised at how green it was you know um so yeah if you do put a state down there or even if there's a country if you're lucky enough to ride through a country um, you know let me know why what is it that you feel that makes that state so beautiful I know Canada is also beautiful and a lot of its provinces they're just like just amazing a lot of their provinces are really amazing all right I'm gonna have to get on to 70 exactly sure how far ahead you know it's crazy these gloves right that my wife bought me my wonderful wife she's so amazing it seems like they're actually touchscreen but for some reason they work with ways which is kind of amazing and awkward all in one shot so they work with ways and I've been uh, I've been actually able to kind of like I approve certain gestures and and I just thought that, I was like man I was like wow that's pretty cool man it actually work but you know what the, actually the funny thing is I left my mesh gloves at home both sets both sets my Joe Rockets and my Joe Rockets and my uh, uh, Viking cycles I left them both home so but you know what's weird that right now I had to take the I had to take the rain jacket off right because I was kind of burning up I was like dude I gotta take this thing off dude there's like a sheets on every corner here in PA like what the heck do I need to buy some sheet stock like every corner there's a sheet so I'm like what the heck this is this is amazing so wait are we on I-70 now I don't know anyhow uh, yeah so you know, man, my hands feel pretty good, so I think I should be all right. You know, my hands don't feel as though they're sweating or anything like that, so I think it should be good, you know? But I was just like, okay, I think I could switch to, uh, I was like, I think I could switch to my, uh, my mesh gloves, and I'm looking for them in my saddlebag, and I'm like, oh, man. Where's my gloves? <laughs> They're gone. Oh God. 
So my wife and I were out for a drive, right? And if you saw on Instagram and you follow me on IG, on my D-Best 1A rides uh, account, right? Because I have a D-Best 1A account, but that's private. But my D-Best 1A ride. Anyway, let's not, let's not get off topic, right? So me and my wife stopped by um, an Indian dealer, right? Go, we were going to Cycle Gear. I wanted to get these gloves because I wanted some. I got tired of wet hands, right? And I wanted to get some gloves that would keep my hands dry, right? So that's how we ended up getting these Alpine Star gloves. I probably told you that in the first video. Anyway, so while we were going there, I was like, Bab, oh shoot, look, they got an Indian dealer there. So she was like, oh, all right, cool. I was like, yeah, yeah. So we stopped by, we're like, oh, let's go check it out. Let's go inside and wander around. And look, we go inside, it's really nice. Of course, you know, they have those hardwood floors as they usually do, you know, cause that's kind of like their thing. They like that that hardwood floors uh, look. It's, it's nice. I think it's, it gives it an, an a decent, uh, I guess you could say, elegant look. I would say. I don't know, but I think it's pretty nice. Dodge Ram is still running, even though it's got some rust and other other stuff like that. Stuff is still running. Yeah. So we go by there and. Uh, we walk in and we're looking at the bikes and I'm like, babe, yeah, you know, they got some nice rides. And she's like, yeah, it's like, you know, they're pretty cool. We're looking, I'm like, oh, wow, look at this. I was like, oh, look at the Challenger. Oh, wow, it's pretty nice, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice, but I don't like the front end. And I was like, hmm, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. It's kind of a gotta grow on you type of deal, you know? It's not like, uh, you see it and you love it right away which i mean for some probably it is but for me not really uh kind of like the chief in front end same thing you know i just really never was a fan the old-fashioned look i thought was really unique but the newer one is eh, you know it's not bad so but um Yeah, so we're looking around so a sales guy comes out and he's like oh you know what do you ride oh my god am i back in the freaking bronx he's like what do you ride and i'm like oh you know uh v star 1300 so he's like oh wow okay you know and another sheets good lord are you guys counting the amount of sheets that you see as i'm riding through here so uh He's like, oh, okay, you know, V-Star 1300. She's like, oh, all right, all right. And I'm like, all right, look at this guy, right? I'm like, look at this guy. His wheels are already turning, like thinking, oh, the trade-in, ha, ah, who is he? And you know, he's, he's like, oh, so you know, uh, yeah, man, if you, if you, if you wanted to, if you wanted to buy one, you know, I could get you in one, you know, I could, I could do a test ride now you know we do demo days but if we did a test ride you know we, we'd have to be i'd have to know that you, you're wanting to buy and i'm like well i'm not looking to make any purchases so you know um right now you know we just i, I didn't even tell them my business but which i'll tell you later but you know I, just, oh what the frick oh my god i was just like you know right now you know, I'm not looking to make any purchases. And, um, you know, we're kind of fine where we are. You know, where I am, actually. <laughs> My wife doesn't, she, she don't own a bike. Well, maybe she do, but well, whatever. But, um, yeah, so. Then he, <laughs> so after this, he says to her, Oh, well, you know, if, uh, well, you know, if you take one, you take one ride on the back of the Challenger, I tell you, you're never going to want to get on the other bike again. I was like, oh, ho, 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 ho. I was like, no, he didn't. <laughs> I said, no, he didn't. Sneaky freaking, you sneaky son of a gun, you. He ran and snuck, snuck and tried to get my wife's, uh, my wife's okay. 
<laughs> try to get my wife to turn on me and be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we gotta buy it. I was like, yo. But anyway, I told him, I said, no, nah, I'm good. You know, I'm not looking. You know, I'm not looking right now. I'm not looking uh, to take on anything at this point in time. So, you know, if ever I do, I so, said, yeah, you know, maybe I'll let you know. You know, we'll see. So, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I just thought that was funny, man, because I was like, man, you know, the guy just, just, uh, guy just <laughs> played, try to play my wife over on me, man. I was like, yeah, good luck with that one, bro, because I'm pretty sure she's not wanting to, want to have us dish out, uh, extra money for a car note at this point in time. So, yeah, not happening. Ah, anyway, yeah, they were, the bikes are nice though. They had a, they had a Indian chieftain there. It's nice. I didn't really like the paint. Paint was like all like glitter stuff in there, and I don't know. It's not really. I'm not really. I don't know. It just wasn't really my thing. Then they also had a, a black, uh, the black Challenger, which was nice. That was that was cool. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, that that's a bike I would like to ride one day. You know, I sat on the Challenger, and let me tell you, I was shocked because that bike felt like my bike. Where when you sit on my bike and you take it off the kickstand, it doesn't feel like it weighs 700 pounds, even though this bike weighs 700 pounds. The deluxe model, it's it's approximately 700 pounds. And it, and and that bike, you take it off the kickstand, and it really doesn't feel like it. Like you really don't notice it. And that's how I told him. I was like, wow. I was like, I, I, I was shocked. I, I don't think it had fuel in it, but it just didn't feel like, it just didn't feel like it weighed, it weighed that much, you know? So, you know, I just thought that was impressive. That was really impressive. I, I know that bike must handle really well. Man, must handle like it's on rails. Even with that bigger front wheel, but whew, that must be one nice handling bike. But yeah, one day I'll, I'll take one out. I still haven't taken one out on the spin. I don't know if uh, a lot of other guys have or vloggers if they've taken it out, but they probably have because uh, you know I haven't really been going to demo days. I haven't really been, I haven't really been doing much, much. Just been kind of you know spend as much time with my family, so you know. Got to do what you got to do, you know. All right, so I guess we're on I-70 now. Allegedly, I don't know. Yeah, we are. Okay, so we're on I-70. Got to take this for about 38 miles. Anyhow, uh, I guess I'm gonna gonna jump off. I'll have to pull off somewhere so that I can turn the camera off. Jack just texts me back. So I'll have to shoot him a message and say hello. He's probably gonna be like, I, I can't believe this guy's about to ride through freaking Pittsburgh. But I didn't wanna, I really didn't wanna ride through his town and not say hello. You know, I watch his videos all the time. I watch a, a lot, well, uh, most of the time. I try to watch most of them. But I, I, I don't really get, I know I don't get all of them. Guilty! But anyway, um, yeah, you know, I try to watch uh, many, of, many of them as I can. And, uh, and I enjoy watching his videos, man. He, he comes up with some really great topics and great conversation and, you know, I just think it's really cool. I just think it's really cool. A lot of the topics and conversation that he comes up with, it's, it's really nice, really cool. You know, so you know, it's always, uh, always appreciated too. You get to sit back and watch some of the stuff that he comes up with. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Oh, uh, I guess. Uh,
sometimes I don't always feel like I have to be zipping and riding fast. Sometimes I just like to chill and just relax. Do right at or about the speed limit. Oh, there's a Western House factory? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know. Do right at or about the speed limit and kind of just enjoy just enjoy the road. You guys know this is my little cruise control here. I just flip it forward and and I can take my hand off and relax a little bit while my molding over here come proceeds to come off. Oh yeah, yeah. Life of a custom bike. <laughs> Somewhat. Yeah. You know, I emailed them about that. They said that I could uh, purchase more from them for something like $15 a foot or something like that. I don't know, some astronomical price. I was like, yeah, okay. Guess what I'm going to do? I'll put some freaking epoxy in there and just whip that sucker right back on there. Call it a day. That's what I'll do. Yeah, even with the bike weighed down like this, I hit some, <laughs> I hit like this crazy dip. <laughs> like I hit it and it went up and, uh, and man, the bike handled it like amazing. Cause uh, you know, I got that progressive, uh, I got the progressive springs in the front and the uh, progressive shock out back. You know, the progressive springs are, I don't know, they're, they are what they are. I feel like if you had, uh, you had stock springs they're still pretty darn good uh, I don't I wouldn't take anything away from them but uh, the rear shock is the rear shock is a real godsend for this bike in my opinion anyway you know it, it really you a good rear shock for most any bike is, is something that you most definitely want definitely want good rear shock any bike that you get your hands on you know most times the first thing you want to do is change out that rear shock because that rear shock is like the first thing to kind of start giving you issues so yeah man but i hit that dip and it and it didn't even bottom out it just it just kind of you know it hit it you felt it really compress and then it just came right back up you know, but the only issue with the rear shock on these is that they just have very little travel. And even the new Venture, you know, the same thing. The new Venture that they came out with, it's like the same travel. It's just not a lot of travel. So sometimes when you hit a bump and you think you're going to have a lot of support, you really don't. You barely have, you barely have any support. You know, and it's, it's, it's it can be a little annoying. So... That's why you really need a good shock. Even when my wife and I, we rode two up the other day out to Kent Falls and I recorded that vlog, which didn't do good. I was talking about it, how well it did for us riding two up. And I didn't even, I didn't even tighten the, uh, I didn't even tighten up the compression on a spring. I just left it where I had, where I, where I had it when I installed it. And man, I tell you, it was nice. It was really nice. So, I mean, we weren't doing highway, but I think if we were to do a trip together, we'd, we'd have to pack really light. And camping would be tough because I barely, I was barely able to fit items in for my, for myself, you know. So, 
much less to carry her stuff. Oh. 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 I need a tent. I mean, I need a, a, a trailer. Yeah, I need a trailer so I can pull, I can pull all of her stuff inside of the trailer. That's the only way. All right, I'm gonna shut off here, guys. This video is pretty. It's, it's pretty long. And we'll come back in a little bit.